Hey guys, it's Jan, also known as Unbluster, and today we are taking a look at the 45th anniversary Wago Hobby Avante Mark III Azure. There you go, from the Tamiya Plan Model Factory Hong Kong Special. Oh man, such a long name. That's pretty crazy. So, as you guys can see, it's got some pretty snazzy stuff included with the kit the carbon pattern printed body, which is pretty good, probably like a hydro dip. And then, you know, all the extra stuff. Let's take a look at uh, what's inside before that item number 92430. And as you can see, there is no MSRP. So this was probably kind of pricey, but I'm not sure um, uh, if the person who brought this in for us bought it and then they're just having us uh, take a look at it. But as you guys can see, it's got that carbon print going on. It looks like... It has that protective film on this side, so it must have been probably hydro dipped from the inside so that it's just, you know, got that carbon print. Um, so there you go. You guys can see the semi, you know, that kind of carbon pattern weave from the inside. So over here, you guys can see it too. But from what I can tell, there's a film still. So if you peel that off, it gets even shinier for this body and you see as you can see the Avante Mark III Azure body looks pretty good in all of those different angles that it actually shows off so that's pretty cool that they picked this body I don't think I've ever seen the carbon print of the Avante Mark III Azure from before I've only seen the Thundershot so this one's a little um, new I think I'm not sure so if anybody uh, knows if this has been um, made before if it was just sold separately, uh, please let me know in the comments. So yeah, this is pretty cool. I always like the Avante bodies. And then let's set this aside. Let's look at this. Is, these are just the body mounts. Pretty sure these are just ABS. Yep, just a regular ABS. These are the mounts for the um, polycarbonate body that you're going to be using. This is for the front latch and this is for the back body lock. And then over here, let's look at this. It's pretty good that they uh, included the MS chassis um, kit that they picked up. Um, it's going to make sure that it's going to sell well to racers. As you can see, they, the, they picked up the ABS um, MS Pro um, chassis to build from, which is good because these are the most popular ones nowadays to build from in terms of the MS Flex uh, setup. Let's go ahead. Let's set that aside. Next, let's go to the bumpers. Let's see if they have a different um, material. Nope, it's regular ABS as well, which is pretty good because um, ABS on ABS is going to be pretty good in terms of the flexing um, action, you know, the suspension action. That's going to be um, better. And then, you know, all black, which is good. I like black on black always. And then they also included the uh, fluorescent yellow dish types. Let me see what... Oh, there you go. Just the regular plastic, which is good. Um, you know, you could have problems with the wheels being straight from just the regular plastic, but they also, you know, have the added bonus of being a little bit more absorbent of impact. So I like those two. So it's good and bad, but, um, you know, if you're lucky, these, uh, that the four wheels that came with your kit are pretty straight. Those are going to be pretty good for... When you're building from the kit and then sadly they included these instead um, i would have liked to have seen super hard tires instead of that um, normally so we don't have to worry about um, changing these up because these from what i've been told are not actually easy to um, cut and i've i've rarely seen these tires being cut for competition you're actually using them for trim tires on your actual setup but uh, it's pretty cool that these were included because of the actual theme that they were going to do for the wheels because it looks like they also included stickers for the wheels later so we'll take a look at that once we get to it and then here what's the gear ratio that they included oh okay this is the uh, 3.5 to 1 which is pretty good um, because you kind of need that to be able to um, maximize the speed of the kit because it's you know just medium diameter wheels and then SMC motors and then just the regular shafts from what I can tell yep that's pretty much it and then the rollers it's hard to tell what type of rollers they are just for uh, the fluorescent yellow rollers the four the two in the front and then the two in the back <clears throat> 
and then the A parts are also um, ABS from what I can tell yeah it's kind of hard to see from here there you go you see it ABS so there you go these are just a regular ABS so nothing too out of the ordinary from the A parts and then here they have the uh, um, booklet style um, actually no this isn't the booklet style it's so oh it is sort of I think the new one it has new instructions so it has that and then they also added the instructions for the wheels because you got to put the stickers on them. Let's see if we could identify those in the actual um, sticker sheet later. Okay, so, oh yeah, there is like a uh, additional um, section for the, yeah, that's just the wheels right there. Okay, let's take a look at the stickers. Let's see how it's shaped. It must be differently shaped. Oh yeah, there you go. <clears throat> so they added a minimum amount of stickers for the regular body which is you know the canopy and some of the accent parts and then the uh, Tamiya Plum Model factory um, stickers that are actually curved so that it actually works with the wheel that's actually kind of interesting that they did that so that's pretty cool I didn't know that they would do that so huh that's pretty interesting that probably tells you the um, orientation that you have to put it in so that's actually pretty funny and then these are also um, plastic stickers as well so one of the good things about these stickers is that they are a little bit better at handling paint if you do paint this but really I don't see the point of painting a body that's already pre-painted with the the carbon print so I would just leave it like that alright guys we are gonna go ahead and drape this kit in terms of value collectability and upgradability so for value we're gonna give it a 10 um, if you're able to actually buy it from Wago Hobby um, that's going to be a lot cheaper for sure so whatever price they said at least it's going to be kind of close to fair I'm not 100% sure but at least that's going to be the cheapest price point that you can enter so I'm giving it a 10 in terms of value because if that if you get it at that price that's always going to be good but if you're buying it in the secondary market like ebay it's definitely going to be more expensive than normal so try and uh, see if you can get it directly from them somehow if not then you know the secondary market is still gonna you know price scalp you regardless so that's just you know par for the curse in terms in terms of the hobby in general anyway so we're gonna check collectability for this one um it's a 45 year anniversary essentially so i'm gonna give it a 15 and then because of the amount of years that they've been in service with the you know the hobby um just being able to help the hobbyists out there a place to race and a place that you could buy um you know stuff essentially like parts and kits and all of that extra stuff that we need for our hobby is always good and they've been in business for 45 years that's a pretty good testament to how well they've been doing just in general so that's always a good thing so definitely in my book a 15 for that then for upgradability the biggest problem that i have with this kit is that they included the um <clears throat> the super the super soft tires yeah, they're not they're not really ideal for racing at all. Yeah, these clear tires are like the softs and then they just have too much grip. They will just slow down your car and uh, you know, if you're a serious racer, you just kind of want to go with like at least a hard tire set or minimum like a super hard tire set including, you know, low frictions. So that is really the only thing that's detracting from the kit, so I'm going to give it a 9 because you know it's still an ms kit and ms is still one of the most uh, versatile kits uh like versatile chassis out there so that's still a pretty good kit to build from regardless of that so um definitely a nine so when you add all that up you get an average score of 11.3 all right guys thank you so much for watching uh, if you'd like to see more videos like this, please like, subscribe, and share. And uh, thanks for watching. Go race.